Bubba? He wants to sing with us. What are you doing? Get off of me. Welcome in everybody. We're doing some more South Park Phone Destroyer. Will we finish the event? I don't know. How far did we get? We got to 38? Yeah, we probably won't finish it. <laughs> we'll see though. It is already 11.17 p.m. on Sunday. All right, we're back. We're back. Be on the lookout for Glanzer merch coming out. <laughs> All right. We're going for... What is this? A, this is a six-point deck. I think we did pretty good yesterday just in like an hour. I think this was an hour, wasn't it? Or was it two hours? I think it might have only been an hour. I can't remember. I guess nobody's playing the game anymore. I guess nobody's playing anymore. It's so weird how that can happen sometimes. I am Pancake. Everybody, I appreciate... Um, I appreciate... You guys all... Sticking with me through the technical difficulties at the beginning there. What happened there was... I'm having this weird issue where randomly all of my USB devices will like disconnect from my computer. So that includes like my microphone, my well it's my microphone's not technically USB, but my interface my interface is USB. So it's it's very frustrating. Cause it like breaks OBS too. OBS can't handle all the connections disappearing. So it does not does not like it. Ooh. Oh no, I didn't even have to play Ned. I was doing that to protect from the guy, but I forgot the monkey damage was coming. That was probably a bad sizzle, but we'll see. Jedi Master Lin is right on time. Yeah, because we had some technical difficulties, you're definitely on time. Welcome in. <laughs> Same stuff happened to your digital audio workspace a couple days. I just updated the... Uh, the program, it had a hotfix, so hotfix usually means there was something wrong with the build out, so hopefully that fixes it, but that made me restart my machine too. And then when that goes out, when I have to restart that, all of my audio connections get like reversed or defaulted basically, and then I have to reset everything, so I have to put like, because my audio, the way that my audio interface works is it creates a digital, different digital... Not tracks, but tracks. Basically, it's a, this is probably the word to use. It creates a different audio track. So in my Windows Explorer or Windows Sound, whatever, I go, Pretzel is set to the music track. South Park is set to the game track. My voice is set to the audio track. Discord is set to the voice track. And then I have full control over each one of those. Each one of those... Um, uh, each one of those channels, yeah. So I can put filters on those channels. I can control the... And what, what a really cool part of it is that I can have... So in my ear, I hear something different than you guys hear. So when we got, when when we're doing stuff with... Um, with like Jeff and Akuma and stuff, in my ear, I won't have any music at all because I care more about their voices. But in you guys' ear, you guys still have a little bit of music. So right now, for me, the music is a little bit quieter than other stuff. And then I have, like, I have a track that's set for only me, so that if it's muted for you guys, so that if I want, like, if I wanted to be, like, listening to a podcast or something while I'm streaming, and I don't, and I don't want you guys to be, like, listening to it, you know what I mean? Then I could do that. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty fun. Or music that I don't want you guys to hear. Alt Human Kite. We're going to do Alt Human Kite for a... Um, guys, I was paying so little attention there. If you, like, if you drilled me... Like, if you asked me questions about what happened in that game, I would not be able to answer you. How many times did I play Doggo? I have no idea. How many times did my Doggo survive? Zero idea. No clue. That was complete autopilot while I was talking to you guys about what was going on. And I still beat him down. Let's go. 
Let's go. Oh wait, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, we're fine. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing for most of them, Jimmy. If you got like a roadcaster, go XLR, all that kind of stuff. But then those other ones have the physical channels. So you actually have the things and stuff. Mine is just all all the it all software basically that runs it. But it's nice. And then there's one there's one channel that you can set to get sent to your microphone. So like, you know those people that they'll be playing Call of Duty and they'll voice clip people's voices and stuff and it comes through their microphone. It's because they're using something like that where it'll clip one of those channels into the microphone. And so if I'm messing around on Discord with people, I'll set like you this type of stuff. I'll, ch I'll set all those sounds to loop through my microphone so I can talk shit on Discord with them. <laughs> you said it's moved to first shift. I've been having to watch Hayes. <laughs> in case it allows. <laughs> Move to first shift. Does first shift mean morning, like a normal like nine to five? Or is first shift like six AM to so you're sleeping when I'm streaming kind of thing? Well I will <laughs> the eventual like my goal on Sundays is to start streaming like at two PM. So people with different shifts and you know UK and stuff like that have a chance to see me at that time because it works better than normally I'm work I'm streaming around this time like three hours before now and then two hours past now kind of thing. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. Normal seven to three. That's not bad. What do you do? I don't think you've ever said. Yeah, I mean that's not a bad setup. Oh, that's not a bad setup. Shit. No, that was bad. That was bad. He was supposed to go for the drow. Wait, that wasn't terrible. That DSR mind control worked out pretty well. Oh, I forgot about the cows coming. I forgot about the cows coming home to roost. Can we turn it around? Can we turn it around? Can we turn it around? Oh, no way. You can just lightning bolt me or something now. We stopped it, though. We stopped the cows. That was pretty cool. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Why did I do that? I guess I had to make sure she died. Oh, I'm screwed. Keep the doggo alive. Keep the doggo alive. Oh shit, no. No. Oh, that one hamster. That one hamster. Oh no, Mintberry Crunch is gonna get me. Dang. He played cows fucking three times on me. Ah! Ah! Kissing me off. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Is it just me left to run? No, there's probably still people left to lose before me, right? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Nobody plays in comments like I do. Oh, that's so sweet. I I tend to actually agree with you. <laughs> I do truly believe that I'm the greatest South Park phone destroyer creator of all time. And the only reason I'm not top of the charts is because I've got a job and a girlfriend. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be doing every Friday morning, I'd be doing a seven point deck video. Every Wednesday morning, I'd be doing a this is the Team Wars deck, you or this is the. Um, this is the challenge deck you should run every, every Monday morning. I would make a video about what team wars choices to run, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Repeat as desired. I'd be making tier lists until I exploded. 
Come on, get the hit up. Oh, I'm so screwed here, dude. I'm screwed. All right, we could turn this around. We could turn this around. Oh, he's going to get some... He's going to get... Oh, he ate the Miss... He ate the Henrietta, I think. Is that what happened, right? He ate the Henrietta. Oh, that was a good... That was a good inking. What do we do to this guy? I don't know what to do. He's going to wipe me. He's going to wipe me from existence. Well, at least we're going to take a bar first, right? <laughs> I can Inuit him now. I can Inuit him now. All right, if he's got like Aerostorm or something, I lose. Come on, baby. I don't know if there's gonna be enough damage. Oh, thank the Lord. That's a good storyteller, though. Talk shit about this event. I mean, I didn't hate it, just mostly because I really li I like playing adventure. Swashbuckler is pretty bad though. It's hard to get value from her. That's why you're seeing a lot of cows because people are trying to get swashbuckler cow value, but that nine cost that's nine cost is tough. I'd rather do like swashbuckler into um into our boy Starvin Marvin. I think that's a little bit more fun. Ooh. Okay, that was good. Oh, that could be a bar. That could be a bar. No, we got the kill. No, we got the kill. This is all right, though. This is all right, though. We just have to 30 seconds of defending. He's going to play Henrietta behind. That was dumb. He had to play Henrietta midline there. He had to play Henrietta midline there. You only got 20 seconds, brother. You see how long that takes you? You got 20 seconds, brother. What are you going to do? Bad boy, bad boy. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Bad boy, bad boy. What they gonna do? God, if only you had more time. If only you had more time. Like, if only you were, like, 10 seconds closer. You know? <laughs> what a dummy. What a dummy. And he's gonna blame, like, card levels or something for that. He's gonna blame my level 6 inking for that. Even though his inking got way more value than mine did. By the way, Rook, I'm not getting notifications for YouTube. Please look into that. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that either. Just make sure that your little bell is clicked. And otherwise, I don't... I have, I'm have. i subscribed to so many people, and I, I don't ever get notifications. I have to just go to... I have to go to the channels themselves, or just, like, my algorithm will pop up, like, in my feed when my guys post videos that I watch, usually. I don't usually have to look for it. And then when they don't, then I know that YouTube's, like messing with them and it's like oh what did he do and then i'll look at his views and the views will be down and i'll be like oh what happened he must have been talking shit <laughs> my mom usually calls me to let me know glans is streaming that's wholesome this is a family show after all the ceo of youtube recently passing the ch what the chick the ceo uh, I guess I don't know. I might be confusing who people the peoples. Oh, oh, that was bad. This was a bad. This was a bad move. This was a bad move. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah, that was a terrible. Uh, honestly, that's just game game. Womp womp, indeed. It was a terrible sizzle play. I should not have played. <laughs> I thought he. I don't know why he immediately used the doggo like that. <laughs> honestly, that's. It was a terrible doggo play there. <laughs> If I wouldn't have played anything, he would have I would have been able to play it pretty good. She passed? What? That's crazy, dude. Oh, look at that Pocahontas Zen we didn't need. Or Pocahontas Randy. I said Zen because Zen Cartman does no damage. I think that Zen Cartman, while he's using his ability, should like have Thorn Mail basically and do damage her attack like damage based on the attack like you'd have two options you could do damage based on the attack of the enemy so like 50 percent 100 percent 20 20 percent 30 percent whatever or you could do like a set amount like it does 100 damage 200 damage 500 damage whatever would work 
the higher percent would probably be better at like if you play Zen and then Zen is sitting there and you play other cards and they play like an assassin on Zen to try to kill Zen. It's not a big deal because in like three hits that assassin's gonna die to the Zen aggro damage, whatever you wanna call it, the, the thorn mail damage. I, th I, th I always thought that would be cool. There's also nobody that has like an AoE damage. Like I think it would be cool if like, what if Alien Clyde had what if alien clyde had like aoe poison around him so he throws the poison and then like accidentally drops the next poison so it shows you know what i mean and then oh look at that bradley getting the damage but the his net is boosting him too much his net was healing him too much but we're gonna get him at least Oh no, we had the same idea. <laughs> oh no. Mine's just gonna get lit up because of the Ned though. Oh shoot. His Ned lit me up, dude. It was honestly just Ned. Just the tip. I think if I Inuit, I get either frozen or mind controlled, but we'll see. All right, he didn't use the freeze. That's not terrible. If Mystic Assassins could heal a small amount per hit. If Choir Boy had a little... Well, no. If, yeah, that would be strong, though. You see how strong Furkel can be with the heal from... From, um... What's his face? Pete? Pete's the, the range guy? This makes Jimbo's attack, like, six. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Do we think he had... It also makes Jimbo or Murphs really low. Damn it. Do we think he had cows himself? I think this is still too early. Eh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's trying to get the value with the Murph and the the Kevin. It doesn't work. Oh, you got it there. Seven energy there? Yeah. It's, it's hard to get the value. I don't know. He must have just had a huge lead on me. It's hard to get the value with the Murph and the Kevin. Because, like, the way the timing of their attacks is, it's like, even if you get one, it's like you won't get it again for, like, three hits because of the way Murph's attack hits and Kevin's attack hits. So it's not super useful, typically. Like, you can't... Like, you can get one or two maybe in the life cycle but typically you're not going to get very many from that army of i do like Ar gizmo a lot they should have made randy more useful i feel like randy would have been if he's like three cost if they adjusted him to be three cost somehow and then he like the problem is like nicole needs more Units that synergize with her probably because all of the animal units suck. <laughs> so like Randy needs to be better. Catapult needs to be better. Coop needs to be better. Rats need to be better. All of these animal units. Cows is the only one that's good, but it doesn't. It's not great using cows with Nicole. Pigeons and cows or pigeons and her kind of works. All right. Just because there's so many of them. What if energy staff increased your... Um, what if energy staff increased your... Oh, that's rude. Increased your... like Or no, it gave you like all your units heal <laughs> for the time it was out there. That'd be brutal. Whoa, okay, this is good. We're going to get his doggo down. Doggo down. Okay, this is big. This is big. Our doggo is going to survive. All right, we're going to do something a little bit unorthodox here. A little bit unorthodox with the cocks. A little unorthodox with the cocks. Oh no, we didn't get enough damage! That's alright, the sizzle making it happen. The sizzle making it happen. Let's go. I really thought we'd get enough damage. I really thought we'd get enough damage on him. That's unfortunate. Is he going to use the ability? He'd be smart to not use it. He could lightning mold me, that'd be ideal. But he can't. But he can't. But he can't. Ugh. 
Ugh. Hell staff would be too OP. Yeah, but if it what if it didn't last as long, you know? What if it's kind of quick? Don't love that. Oh, Ned. Okay, there you go. Oh, Ned. You son of a bitch. Ned, why aren't you doing anything? Oh my god, dude. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Ugh. Monkey. Oh shit, look at that. Look at that. Huge hits on him though. Huge hits on him though. No way he got the monkey there! No way he got the monkey there! Oh my god, he's gonna get the bar, dude. That fucking glitch, dude! That fucking glitch! My Ned didn't do anything! He just sat there and his whole his whole fucking or his his shield maiden was able to kill my Ned because of that. Absolute bullshit, trash ass game, dude. Complete bullshit. He should have been dusted. No chance to get anywhere near me again. But no, instead I have to spend all this energy. <sighs> Absolute trash, dude. Now I don't get a win and I lose okay. out on six points because of this bullshit. Absolute trash, dude. Absolute trash. Dude, that is such bullshit. What the hell happened with that Ned, dude? I even pushed him to try to get him in range, but he still didn't do anything. Master Ninja with Pocahontas? No, I wouldn't say that's a good pairing. God, I'm so pissed off, dude. That was trash. My Ned would have dealt with the... Would have healed him the whole time. Would have dealt with the Shield Maiden. Would have been getting stacked. Dude, what the fuck? Now that I think about it, I don't think he was getting attack boost either. It's like he wasn't even there. Yeah, changeling duplicates it. I get what you're saying, like a mimic card where like... You can't really do that though because you can't play the same card twice. I'd say if you could play the same card twice, like if you played the card and it went back into cycle and then you could play it again, I think, um, I think you could have a card where you, it just plays the last card you played again, but maybe it costs like one extra energy or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, or two extra energy, whatever. Harry Potter Magic Awakened has one like that. Um, and it's then in that it's the level of that card. Not the level of the other card, so you can't like boost it. Big time, big time. Oh, we can still get him. He's not gonna have the energy. He's not gonna have it. He's not gonna have it. All right, we're still gonna play that. We're still gonna play it. Try using Sparky behind Ned. Helps me hit. Well, it wouldn't really, it doesn't really matter if Ned's not hitting anybody. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, it was the Inuit somehow. It was the Inuit or is the Incan somehow. That was surprising. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Dark kind of duplicates too. That's fair. That's fair. I look at that negative 50 making them worthless. Beautiful. Zenaido, thank you for the follow. 
We gotta turn this around though. He got so much damage still though. Those level sevens. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. You could do it. You could do it, doggo. Even if he mind controls you, it won't be in time. Just bail out of there, doggo, I think. Just get out of there, doggo. I can save you, doggo. I have the means, doggo. I can save you, doggo. Oh, you don't expect that. You don't expect that every day. But it is cool when that happens. It's cool when it works. Oh, can we do something cool here? Can we do something cool here? Who's Kevin gonna attack? Oh no, I did it a tad bit too late. I did it a tad too late. Oh, I don't get the dog. Oh no! Wow, game over. GG. God, I'm annoyed. Um, I I probably still would have lost to the cows, but the si if the sizzle would have been alive there, I would have done so much more damage. Boring ass towers, dude. You used Ike once and it just kept duplicating Ikes. That'd be pretty sick. I swear I didn't cheat. It just kept happening. <laughs> yeah, the best way to get value out of Ninju is you could get swarms, like a bunch of a bunch of like chicken coops with some other stuff, or one range plus one tank who attacks fairly quickly. Like Murph with a Ninju boost can actually be. Oh my God! Why are these? Ugh. I feel like everybody's attacking so much quicker than I'm used to. Um, but yeah, like Ninju on a Medusa is really good. Ninju on a, on like a Ned is really good. Stuff like that. Jeez, I don't have any, dude, I need to put Satan in this deck and in, in both of these decks instead of the Swashbuckler, honestly. <laughs> both of these decks need Satan instead of Swashbucklers. Shit ass. She's so bad. Had to deal with Fantasy Mystic. Well, you don't need both of them to deal with Skelzel. You really only need Fantasy. I swear it wasn't me. Everyone battled today in your stream had cows. Yeah, cows are probably going to be common because of the event. And like I said, the swashbuckler. Oh, geez, look at that. Oh, jeez, look at that. He's wrecking me. <laughs> Can we kill the... Oh, look at... Look at... Storyteller got brought right to New Kid, dude. Oh, no. Now Storyteller is trapped in between them. And he can't limit the damage from New Kid. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Come on, cow. But that wasn't the worst thing ever. No shield for you. Big health damage. There we go. Alright, that feels pretty good. Decent damage. If that storyteller would have gotten to New Kid though, that could have been ideal. I think we might be able to get the ability off. No. Oh, that was stupid. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, that wasn't very great. That wasn't super great. If I get some hits on the tower. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. What do you think? Frontier? Oh, what's this? What's this guy doing? I'm just gonna do that. Let's see if Frontier Storyteller is enough to kill... to kill cows. Honestly, seemed like it was. We're gonna just sit here blasting this guy for a while. Do I play cows right on his face or what's the plan? Why'd you use the ability so quickly? 
Oh, he still got it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed by this guy, dude. I'm so annoyed. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> well, he's going to get us with his cows. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. If he's got cock magic too, dude, I'm going to be so fucking annoyed. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, big time hit, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Play your cows, baby. Play your cows. Play your cows. Let's go! Bruh. Oh, damn it. You guys couldn't see the whole match. Damn it! Well, that's typical. We won. That's all that matters. See, look. See, we win. And look, it was 104 points, so we must have killed a banger there. It wouldn't be a glance stream without that happening at least once. But because you guys experienced the game, you guys could experience the match either way. Because that's how good, that's how good my callouts are. Just like Mr. Grumps was saying. You guys weren't even bored there. Three minutes went by. Excited as all get out. I stopped his cows though with Frontier and Storyteller. That was enough to stop his cows though. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Was, I, was that account still playing a match though? I must have accidentally pulled up the wrong one. Because sometimes I'll pull up both of them and then I'll be... I'll look away and then I'll look and then, oh, this one's got a match, but then it's not the one. Or I'll click the button. Yeah, right now, I can't tell. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh, you guys just aren't live. Okay. Uh, I got a Hunter Jimbo. I could do that too. I don't have Ned though. Oh, I always get shafted with my Ned. All right, we can play him though. You enjoying the defeat sign? Well, that is probably something enjoyable. Coming from a Glans fan, it's not something that you guys see all that often. Look at what I'm saying, though, dude. He gets the Ned, I don't, and then it's just like game over, dude. Look at the difference in how much health his fucking Jimbo had. Just because he got the fucking Ned. Where's my Ned? The last card in my goddamn deck. Oh, there it is. It spawned there. But still, holy shit. Oh, God. Can we save him, dude? Legendary. Legendary! Now he can just get us with a... Get us with a lightning bolt or whatever. Or he could cycle back to this bad boy. Help me! Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> uh, I'm so screwed. Although Ned got some good damage out. If I could surprise him. Ugh! Come on, glitch, 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 glitch. Why didn't he use his ability? People confuse me, dude. Jedi Master Lydon said he chose D ranking and then somebody was being cocky emoting. So after it took two bars, she started playing in one. <laughs> I've definitely done that before. I've definitely done that exact thing. No joke. <laughs> oh, I needed Mayor. He's gonna just get me with the Grand Wizard. I, I lost that from the get-go, dude. When that Jimbo... When my Ned was so buried that I couldn't get him, dude. And then he got his. And did you see the difference in the health of that Ned? Or that Jimbo? There was like no other difference. Nobody else was attacking. In fact, my new kid was hitting his Jimbo too. But Ned Jimbo is so much more DPS and then the heal is so much more more health pool, whatever you want to call it. Max HP. It's just so bonkers. And all because I didn't have Ned in my... If I would have had Ned in my deck there, it would have been fine.
Nah, I'd already lost so much energy. All these Murphs are really pissing me off. Murph or Burfs? Murphy Burfs. Oh my. Good thing I bailed. Good thing I bailed on that. Am I hitting the... I say... What is that? Alright. Reset that, please. Oh, Ned! That's brutal. Yeah, Mecha... Attack faster. Mecha definitely, like, 1.5 shot him there. We got harder music than we normally play today, boys. I must have clicked on the wrong playlist. Let's go! Oh, level 6 Mecha is still alive, baby. Let's go. Still living. Brutal. That's brutal amount of damage to his new kid with his own card. Oh, that's gotta feel bad. That's gotta feel bad. Feels bad, man. You guys are on this. You guys see? You guys see? You guys can see this one. You guys can see this one. <sighs> Shit. Better just kill them. Terrible targeting. Everybody was attacking the robots. Everybody was attacking the robots. Oh no. Wow. I can't believe that Incan could hit him. I can't believe that Incan could hit him. All right, but we have nothing to stop this combo. Well, that could stop it. But I got mine, too. Let's see what happens. Can we swashbuckler for some funsies? I don't mind that. Oh, he's going to get that anyway. That's fine. Get out of here, monkey. Yeah, I probably lost. Oh, the monkey got my mecha. Damn it. Yeah, he got me. God, this slot has just been really kicking my ass, dude. I feel like I just don't have cards to play half the time. Infiltrator Kevin also feels almost unplayable ever. Like, how, how often has it felt like I could have played Infiltrator Kevin? Only synergy with two different cards, Sizzle and Freeze Ray. Freeze Ray is so situational, it's probably not going to be useful. Sizzle only freezes them enough for one, maybe two hits. They just, you just need more. There needs to be something like Murph, but more consistent. Because Murph and him just don't match well enough I was thinking about swashbuckler in him how come he did so much more damage than me what's up with that How's that possible? Also, no removal has really been kicking my ass. Oh, I could have freeze raid and definitely probably taken the bar there. I mean, he could have played a card and stopped me, but he would have had to play a card.
Get out of there, doggo. No, it was too long. It was too long. Damn, that really sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Now you can just unholy somebody. Y'all go, you can survive this. No! I thought he could survive it. The good damage on him though. Ooh. Here we go. Here's the here's the Kevin values. Ah, still not quick enough. All right, well that's not the worst thing that could have happened. We just got to prevent two bars. Oh, bro, I didn't think about that. Okay, that's five energy just dropped. Two more there. God, new kid perfectly took him out. Ah! <sighs> it's card after card after card. That could have been dangerous if you would have used that earlier. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Where's his cows? Where's his cows? Oh my god. Come on, there they are. Come on, baby! Let's go! Go! No! Scarlet Witch is like really good, says Prawn Cocktail. Bro, Scarlet Witch is my boy. I taught him everything he knows. Actually, Scarlet Witch, that account could be one of like six people. So, realistically, you really have no idea who that is, but the account's definitely good. <laughs> I was confident in that one, Mr. Grumps. Suck it. I was that level 6 mecha. That level 6 mecha value, though. The length, the ability is always surprising to me. I didn't think a monkey could get all the way from... Midline to new kid. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oops. Well, that probably stopped him from two hits. So I taught the account everything. No, I don't. <laughs> shut up. No, I taught everybody in free to play everything they know. That's what I meant. That's clearly what I meant. Yeah, that's it. We'll go with that one. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying. Still pretty good damage on the old Dragon Slayer. I really want like a Mintberry Crunch mid or something. Ugh! He didn't play anything. Oh, new kid got him? Oh, that's all right. Oh my God, you're so boring. God, you got the genitals of a female.
What is that? What is that? He hit new kid. Boo. God, I'm so bad. I hate towers so much. And with the Mysterio spawning constantly, it's just so annoying. I knew he had the Disarray, dude. I knew he had the Disarray. I didn't play the net earlier because I was like, he probably got fucking Disarray. God, what a fucking annoying cock sucking deck, dude. So stupid. Hip with one HP. Well, I was thinking a cool card they could add would be a card that never goes out of cycle. Or like, not, like stays in cycle. So it's the only card... Also, I fixed my voice making stuff around me, by the way. Um, it's the only card that when you play it, you can play multiples of it, technically. And every time you played it once... Like, every time you played it, it got stronger. And then if you played it with it being out there already, it multiplied the strength by that much so for instance let's say it's a two cost card the first time you play it it has 500 health 100 attack but then it gets boosted to the next time you play it it'll be 550 health 110 attack or whatever but if you get if you get if you keep it alive long enough to cycle so maybe you have like a, a really cheap deck maybe whatever it takes you to cycle through it maybe you could um, maybe it works with Dar, whatever it might be. Um, you could, no, you couldn't do that. Dar would, could, yeah, anyway. Um, then you could get multiple stacks on it over and over and over again. And then have a, have a blast. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Draws? Draws Cola. But in this game, I think the cycle is too long to do something like that. Like 12 cards, three cost average. You only get an energy every like three seconds at the beginning of the matches. It's just takes, it just takes too much, too much time. All right. Pope Timmy is for trash players. Does this guy have member berries or double towers or what's he got? Goth kids, mate. What's he got? What's he running? What do you think? What's he got? Talk to me. Cycle being logged would balance it out. Yeah, but it'd make it almost impossible to be valuable, too. And there's not enough cheap cards. Like, if there were some one-cost cycle cards, like... Like, imagine if... Rats had a three-cost card, a two-cost card, and a one-cost card. So, three-cost card had four of them. Two-cost card had two of them. One-cost card had one of them, or something like that. And gnomes had a one-cost card that had one gnome. You know, something like that. Guy quit, he must have. He saw my name and he's like, oh, not again. I know this guy's got Pope. I know this guy's got Pope. I'm not letting this happen twice. Because, <laughs> like, in um, in a game that I play called Road to Valor Empires, which if you like South Park, you guys should check that one out. It's on mobile. It is basically South Park, except you're using... Well, it's basically Clash Royale, except you're using, like, Spart Spartan units and... And Indian units and Roman units and all sorts of stuff. It's a it's a lot of fun, and um, those that one has a couple one cost units, a bunch of two cost units, and then you can use different things like multiply your units and stuff. So you could definitely have a deck that's built on one ten cost unit, and then every other card in your deck is like, and I think there's like ten cards in that. Every other card in your deck is, um one cost or maybe two cost and it's crazy how quickly you can cycle and even maybe not even that but if you have like three or four of those you can just whatever it takes to basically just like cycle through when you play all three of them the next one is in cycle that's kind of the idea right let's see what happens with this does jimbo just keep following her or does jimbo fuck off jimbo i thought you'd off oh he might be far enough away to waddle away waddle waddle 
then you waddle away, waddle, waddle, till the very next day, bop, 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 ba da da till the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man running the stand, hey, Ned doesn't die to rogue. That was a ton of energy to defend there. Wow, I didn't think I didn't think Sam was gonna hit there, I'll be honest. Well played. It was kinda well played. I agree, it was pretty well played. She got all three hits, bro. She got all three hits. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> that way she's gonna get Robin Tweak. <laughs> you don't have that much health, homie. You don't have that much health. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Where's the well played this time, baby? Where's the well played this time? <laughs> Five hundred IQ right there. First time I've seen that. Which play are you referring to, sir? I never know people's delay. I always feel like Ned gets screwed, like, off in the open. Oh shit, look at that. Oh, big time! God, Dwarf King is so bad, dude. Dwarf King might be one of the worst cards in the game. Oh, he still hit the SOM? Oh, fail. I was trying to protect the SOM in the middle there. <laughs> oh, there's only level second. There's only level 11, 11, 11, I can't speak. There's only a level 11, 11 seconds left. <laughs> I can't believe we took that bar. Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in reverse, Tim. Put it in reverse. Yes, yeah, Swashbuckler rules! I didn't think it was going to work. It almost didn't work. <laughs> I haven't seen Dwarf King in a while, right? Every once in a while, he's the right play in Team Wars, but even then, like, even then, he's so easy to counter. You just play a card in front of the unit. If you're expecting it, especially in Team Wars, if I play Mecha and I'm expecting the Dwarf King, I'm going to snipe the Dwarf King with like a two cost card and you're going to you're going to be out for energy and I'm going to laugh in your face. Actually, I'll be laughing in real life and in game. What up, Jake? Welcome back. Storyteller. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit. I really failed that. Oh, no, we got him. Oh, how did that happen? Don't go to him. Go to New Kid. Oh, shit. All right, we need him because this is the only way we're going to break the the slave heal. This is the only way we're breaking the slave heal is with the bonus from him. That's the only way. It's the only way it happens. Come on. Oh, it worked. Holy shit, it worked. Holy shnikes, it worked. Holy shnikes, it worked. Come on. All right, you're good, doggo. Get out of there, doggo. Give him a boost. One boost while... No! Get out of there. No, he retargeted. He retarded it. Ah! No, Robo Bebe is very bad. Definitely don't do that, Mr. Grumps. Robo Bebe ain't worth it. Ain't worth shit. Oh, that's kind of sad. Come on, new kid. Keep that doggo boost. Keep that doggo boost. Dude, how much energy can he expend to save one bar? I would say Blood Elf Bebe is probably more usable. No. What if that... Okay, what if there was a glitch? And the rooster got the shield or the space warrior boost. Imagine that. How sick that would be. Oh! oh, 
Oh, I was gonna use a sizzle on whatever he played and then wreaked the benefits. It's gonna be hilarious. Who has Aerostorm? <laughs> Slapping pee pee's, dude. This guy's name is the best. Slave, go up. Slave, go up. Slave, go up. Slave, go up. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we don't really care about that. It's bonus. We don't really care about the cows as much. We care about killing. Not only did we kill the drow. Listen to me, boys. Not only did we kill the cow, we broke that slave heel wide open, baby. Wide open and we had to wait for that because if we would have used it and the drow would have slay would have shielded the slave We had nothing out there that the slave was gonna break. Oh my god, Becky look at her butt That was some thousand IQ plays right there boys off the Richter scale plays Off the Fujitsu and we get rewarded by the God above us Aren't Jesus bless me with your semen of luck <laughs> a terrible pull on this account though, but it's still it's still good to get the legend. Beep, 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 beep. I can't this is why I can't play music like this, because if the music is hype like this, I'm way too hype. Usually the music's really chill and it helps mellow me out, but right now I'm on edge because the music's like But sounding. Like. Fun fact is a powder that can turn into bubble gum. Isn't that like Xanthum? There's a lot of candies that have stuff like that in the candy, and then as you chew it, it turns into gum. <laughs> uh, I'm sick, I swear. Jeez. I gotta be honest, guys. I really don't think I should have that. I really don't think I should have that name up for four minutes. <laughs> gotta be real. <laughs> that's a level three Scott now. I mean, maybe that's not terrible on the adventure lock. <laughs> was that in the song? What was that? Q-Tang! This song's lit. You know what's cool about Kevin? Is that his attack boost actually gets boosted by his attack boost. So if he's got plus 84, that's times three on the plus 84. Look, we got Kevin value. We got Kevin value. Oh, Nuke is not doing anything. Nuke is not doing anything. We got to get rid of him quick. We got to get rid of him quick because we need sizzle. Oh, who can oh. Kevin, no, we needed you, Kevin. We needed you, Kevin. All for you. If I asked you to dance, would you say yes? <laughs> Sorry, that's clashing with the other music. Wait, I can... Can I put that filter on without the sound? Hold on. Is it this? Oh, yeah. I love you. I love you. You hear that? I love you. This song is for all the haters. Dude, his health is at 666. It's a sign. 
All right, I'm getting dizzy. Sorry. Dance party. Ain't no sign seven 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 all day. That's fair. That's fair. I'm a gambler too. I'm a gambler too. I'd still take sixes. <laughs> They still pay out. They still pay out. <laughs> Don't know just what to do. Dude, this song lit as hell. Don't know just what to do. Don't know just what to do. Don't know just what to do. I haven't seen the stuff about Mr. Beast. I have been keeping privy to it, yes. I've been watching my boy Mudahar and Oompaville talking about it. Indeed, indeedy doobly doobly doob. What do I think about it? I mean, I. I mean. What, what else do you expect? I haven't seen anything that makes me think, oh, he's a, like, the devil. I think everything I've seen is par for the course for a company of his size. <laughs> like, if you employ thousands of people, a couple of them are going to be sex offenders. And you're not going to know about it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to disclose that on a fucking application. Uh, if you, if you... Hired 10,000 people, one of them might be a felon and lied about it on their application. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that, that shit's shit like that's gonna happen. You can't hold that against the guy who runs the channel. You know what I mean? And then you also can't really hold it against him if one of his friends turns out to be a fucking absolute fucking weirdo freaky person. You know what I mean? You can't really hold that against him either. But, like, at what point, like, at what state, like, even if he knew that, let's say he knows that all these people around him are kind of shit. At what point of his level of fame of his channel should he have told those guys to fuck off? You know what I'm saying? Because he started the channel when he was 13 in his bedroom, you know what I mean? He couldn't imagine ever that the bullshit that they were talking on Discord when they were 18 years old or whatever, however they, old they were. Actually, they were probably... Probably late 20s. But like, the late... <laughs> it better not come out that I... Like it. That's funny. Uh, in the sense that like I like my nieces and nephews, that, that type of like, sure. Do I like hanging out with them? Not very much, no. <laughs> not really, no. Have I ever held a baby in my life? Nope. Nope. Never once have I held a baby. Never have I ever held a baby. That gets people out every time. <laughs> would I hire someone that would ruin my business image? Well, it depends. Because like at that point, he wasn't hiring them. They were just his friends. They were just his friends. And that's who he was making videos with. You know what I mean? So at what stage is it like, hey, come be in our video? Is it like actually hiring them? Because at a certain point, it's like if I was making videos like that, I've got about 30 people I could think of that I could reach out to if I needed a bunch of people, you know what I mean? And then if a couple of those people play well on camera, you bring them in more often, you know what I mean? Like, it's just an economical decision. It's ergonomical, too. But yeah, there's some, I mean, and then the illegal lottery stuff, I mean, whatever. He's probably, like, the punishment for that is fines, probably, so like, Pay some fines and then just get over that shit, whatever. I don't, the, th the thing is, it's like none of this is really an indictment on Mr. Beast himself, you know? Which, I mean, and then like faking videos and stuff, I'd expect, I'd expect a channel of that size, 
like when he's so in tune to like every single moment of the video and like what's good or not like these videos that we're seeing they're being watched by hundreds of people before we see them and they're there's they're they're meticulously saying hey this part i'm kind of bored right here how can we make this part this 30 seconds better and if that means cgiing some train tracks to make this to, to make the scene better who gives a shit you cgi a, an explosion who cares don't you watch movies what's the difference what's the difference you you want somebody to actually die like what do you want you want there to be real danger? <laughs> like, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been watching Oompaville mostly on it. Oompaville and Mudahar, who is uh, the guy that runs... What's his channel name? Uh, some Ordinary Gamers, I think, is the channel. Or some some something similar to that. Some Ordinary Gamer, something like that. Um, I've watched in those ones. Otherwise, I haven't watched any other content about it. I didn't watch the big dog pack video either. I don't- I really don't care enough to... <laughs> I'll let other people highlight it for me. <laughs> I'll watch the 40 minute highlight instead of the hour and 30 minute <laughs> full clip. <laughs> but yeah, I love Oompaville, dude. I think Oompaville's really fair in his criticism of stuff. And when he screws up, he's one of the few people that like acknowledges it and says, Hey, I screwed up. I, this is what I'm doing to try to acknowledge that and, you know, give it a better view or whatever. Like he did with this Mr. B situation. Where at first he's like, this guy's just a disgruntled employee. And then he's like, wait a second. Let me interview him. Let's figure this out. Which I think that, I think that was pretty cool. Don't. Oh, no. I was like, don't cock magic me. But that's even worse. That's even worse. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that man bear pig doing nothing. Yeah. How many IQ is that play, Mr. Grumps? But yeah, you know what I wasn't thinking about Kevin is that the new kid blast is a stun. So if you play him on defense after a bar like, if you give up the bar on purpose, he's going to wipe out the enemies if they have a lot of HP. Pretty cool. Which is pretty, pretty chill. Pretty chill. It's pretty alright. That was a dumb play, but I was going to hit 10 energy anyway, so... Might as well do it while he doesn't have any... Doesn't have any attack, right? Actually, that actually worked pretty well because then he could he could have cock magic with those guys and it could have turned deadly. Oh, I wanted to kill his man bear pig in crazy fashion again. I didn't realize the time. Guys, the question is, before I put this on YouTube, should I go in and cut out that five or that that video where the game wasn't happening and you could just hear my you could just hear my sound, my mouth, my mouth and see my face. Boy stole half of my deck. <laughs> oh yeah, my original deck, pretty much. I mean, that's a, that's a classic deck. Sorry, YouTube. I've been neglecting your chat. I think Beast is just going about it wrong way. The bigger thing to watch are YouTube and Google helping them scrub everything. Well, they're not really, though. Like, all those videos about it are still up. Well, I would say, you know who's going to be scrubbing stuff? Is Amazon scrubbing, apparently, the... This is, this is what I care about more than anything, is the show that they're making is basically... Kind, I think, kind of showing what's the word, kind of, you know, letting it, letting it be seen that he he wasn't held up to the same standards as something like Fear Factor or something that would have to deal with the FCC and stuff. So his stuff, and and and, and I'm not sure if Amazon Prime has to like if that's the same stuff as network television that's a streaming service. I would assume at this point they would have extended their reach to that, but I honestly do not know. 
Um, I assume since there's not hardcore porn on Netflix that probably there's there's regulations to that. Um, but I mean Amazon has the beast games and they spent a lot of money. Like they've spent the money. Google and YouTube, they make money off of them. Amazon spent money on his thing that has yet to make them money because it needs to be produced and shown. And then even then, like, how do you quantify how much money putting something on Amazon Prime gets you? Like, how do you how do you possibly quantify how much money Netflix makes from Stranger Things and Stranger Things alone? Other than like, obviously, you could quantify merch. You could quantify soundtracks. You could quantify all that stuff. But you can't quantify how many Netflix subscriptions people have because of Stranger Things. Now, you could maybe track some correlation of like when you drop the new season, if numbers spike just when the new season and then like the month after that, they spike because people are just picking it up for one single day or one single month to to binge watch it, which is why places are starting to do like a that was a great. That was a great swashbuckler play, baby. That was a great swashbuckler play, baby. I can't even say swashbuckler right. I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of breath. I'm out of speaking skills. I'm making myself breathless. And this scrub's leaving. Paramount Plus all day, baby. I think we have Paramount Plus because my girlfriend watches all of those trashy, um, desperate housewives that are on that. Actually, that might be Peacock. That might be why we have Peacock. We might not have Paramount Plus. I think we have Peacock. Paramount Plus is the one we don't have, I think. We have Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, obviously. Disney Plus. Shudder, which is an Amazon Prime channel focused on horror channel, horror videos, horror movies, which is awesome. One of my favorite types of movies. And I was going to cancel it. It's like seven bucks a month. I was going to cancel it. And then they're like, hey, we'll give you three months for half price. I was like, eh, all right, you got me, you got me. And that, cause that leads me into October, which is perfect. Cause around October, obviously they're gonna have a bunch of new stuff coming out. So right on November 1st, I'm gonna cancel, or probably like middle of November, I'm gonna cancel that, save the seven bucks a month. Cause we pretty much watched all the stuff. And then like six months from now, we get it again. And we watch all the originals. Cause that channel has originals, original horror movies, which is pretty cool. A lot of them have been really good too. So, and some of them have been pretty trash. And at the end, we're just like, well, that was kind of bad. And my girlfriend's like, yep. But every bad horror movie has either good moments or good bad moments. And if you're a fan of horror movies, you know what I'm talking about. A good B or C horror movie is some of the best, some of the best television out there. Some of the best cinema out there is a bad horror movie. Or like a B horror movie. Because some of them, like they're only... That was the longest mind control of my life. Somebody clip that. Somebody go back and look. That had to have been longer than mind control. Someone go back. Remember mind control only goes up to what? 10 seconds? At level 7? Otherwise it's 8 seconds? He got 9 hits off. And he started over here and went all the way across. How in the world... Could he have done that? God, I need my monkey. If only he had died slowly. <laughs> oh, there's monkey. See, this isn't gonna do anything. See, look how look how slow that is. Oh, I got one. Oh, he got plus twenty eight. That's brutal. Wait, how do you get plus twenty eight? How do you get plus twenty eight? It was one hit. Did he go plus twenty eight from one hit? Am I seeing things? Boop. No! No! Ah! Yeah, that's game over. I would love an explanation of how he had nine energy right now, right there. The fuck, dude? Nine seconds. Okay, now go back on that clip. That guy was mind controlled way more than nine seconds. I'm not sure if Rick and Morty is on Netflix. I think it might be Hulu. I think it recently changed actually. 
It might be like the season that's currently happening is on like HBO, and then every recurring season after the fact gets put on Hulu. Or it might be on Hulu now, I don't know. It's tough for me to deal with. Apex, they're all right. Not great, not bad. Kind of in between. We've been bailing on games pretty quickly. <laughs> Probably get DSR here. Who is that? I can't see. I can't see. Sam? Oh, shit. Ugh. I didn't kill him. Ah, oh, that's all right. Doggo, you gotta get out of there, buddy. You gotta get out of there, buddy. You gotta get out of there, buddy. Oh, he did. Holy shit, he did. Holy shit, he did. God, where is my cards, though? Hmm. I got nothing, dude. I need another tank or something. Oh, monkey! I needed you to attack the Grand Wizard there! My Jimbo. I needed Jimbo a long time ago. Dude, once again, Infiltrator, Kevin, Storyteller, these Swashbuckler, Storyteller, Kevin, they're like unplayable. Like 90% of matches, dude. Ugh. Terrible deck, dude. I might have to ditch the swashbuckler, dude. We're getting everyone, so we're getting a good play from her, though. Yeah, honestly, I haven't seen it since they ditched Justin Roiland for that dumb... Like, ditching somebody when they are when they get accused of something and then they end up getting acquitted of that is such is so stupid to me. And now that pr that now Rick and Morty is tainted forever because of that because it's like somebody basically faking the voice. Which sure that happens sometimes in media, but uh, that's annoying. I can't play anything though, or else he gets the mind control value too. Ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah, ooh. Kind of pirate... Johnny Depp and pirates. Dude, exactly. S yeah, same exact thing. Same exact idea. I'm just gonna force him to play it if he needs to. Interesting. Kind of a waste there. No! Dude, how did... Did somebody else hit him there? Oh, it's a terrible mind control. You should have waited like half a second and mind controlled the sizzle, bro. What are you thinking? We can kill him before the freeze goes off. Ah! We were so close. No! Monkey! You should have attacked the choir boy first! Ah, oh, I could have gotten so much value there. Choir boy would have died. Inkin would have survived. Ah, oh, damn it. Losing so much value on that. That's to keep him away from fireball and new kid value. And uh, um, ink and value potentially. Oh, well, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I forgot about that card. 
He got me twice. He got me twice. He's incredible. All right, Mecca. You're going to survive now. You're going to survive now, Mecca. Doggo's alive. Oh, that was a good Satan, though. That was a damn good Satan. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Kill her before the ability. Yes! Yes, Doggo! Boom! Big time! Big time! Were you guys watching that one? Could you guys see that one? Let's go! Let's go! Shout out to Four Deck getting us in first place. Team more spot. 299. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Appreciate you. Makes me. You're the. You're like the only reason I, I open the YouTube stream sometimes. I'm thinking, you know what? Jake Dog doesn't like Twitch. <laughs> I hate the Royalin stuff. His show was stolen from him. No proof, just internet rumors. Yeah. Does he? Does, I wonder if he's still doing that solar opposite, or if that got canceled. I thought that was pretty funny. The concept of the the con if you've seen Solar Opposites, if you haven't seen it, the concept of the show is it's these aliens that crash land on Earth and then they their their spaceship's broken and they have to try to repair it and they're stuck on Earth, right? And um. Actually, no. no. No, no, I lied. They're not crash landed. I don't think they're crash landed. They are stuck. They are stuck on Earth. But I believe that they're supposed to, like, populate Earth or something. I can't remember what they're supposed to do. Um, but that's beside the point. That What I want to talk about is this hilarious side thing that they have where the two young aliens in the project, I think it's, yeah, because I think some of them are supposed to be like spawn, like seed spawn kind of thing. Um, oh, that's so annoying. The, but no, what I was saying was, watch this. They, the, the, the little children, aliens, whatever you want to call them, they, <laughs> they take people that piss them off. Like any, anybody that crosses them in the, in the show. If you piss them off at school, if you cheat off them at home, whatever it is, if you if you're a police officer and you try to uh, you try to arrest them, whatever it might be, they shrink the person up to be you know rat size, and then in their room they have this wall of hamster things that is just oh my god every time, dude, every time, every time. Oh, did you retarget though? Okay, that's good. That's good. It's only level four. We're fine. We're fine. This, we're fine. This guy sucks. Um, but they put him in the wall and then they have these episodes where it's just those people in the wall surviving and they have like this whole, like they have like this whole diplomacy and, and, and world that they've created inside the wall. And it's the, it's honestly the funniest thing ever. And they have like characters and there's like a big bad guy boss and it's so funny. Yeah, Zenaido remembers that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Watch this swashbuckler at the end. This would be hilarious. Hey, that maybe worked. That maybe worked. That maybe worked. Oh yeah! It was just enough, baby. It was just enough, baby. Let's go. Come on, one of you please stomp. One of you please stomp on the berries. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. That's not bad. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's so much value. Come on. Call girl dead. Yes! Call girl down. 20 seconds. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. 10, 9, 8, 7. His cows are going to get to me. Or his cow's gonna get to me! No! Only one of them! Only one of them! Yeah! And I was gonna take Swashbuckler out, baby! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! And I wasn't paying any attention trying to explain that stupid movie to you guys. Let's go!
Let's go! That does it for the video if you're watching this. Afterwards, after the fact, this video is definitely going to get demonetized because of the music that we're playing. I appreciate you dropping tips in the Super Chats, becoming a member, becoming a Twitch subscriber, becoming a Patreon supporter, whatever it is to support the stream. Everything you guys send me goes back into the stream in some way, whether it's new equipment like this bad boy, light, sounds, action, whatever it is to help the stream. It all goes back to you guys. Gift card giveaways, whatever it is, it all goes back to you. Appreciate you guys. Peace out.